Hi everyone! This is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today I'm going to do my daily spread for tomorrow. Tomorrow is March 8th and that is International Women's Day. Um, I think the digital planning world is pretty predominantly women. I haven't come across too many men in the forums and all the posts. So I thought this would be a really fun spread to do for all of us. Um, women supporting women and all of these themes here are just totally on point. So this kit was a freebie that was released on Friday from Gabby of Burke and Bloom. She's got some gorgeous stickers and she puts out a pretty fantastic freebie every Friday. So this was hers and I'm gonna use it as the inspiration for my daily for tomorrow. Um, it doesn't have a lot of functional stickers in this kit, lots of decor. So I went through all of my Burke and Bloom kits and I picked this one, the Chalkboard Blooms kit. It's got just black and white dates and the little post-it notes here I think I can use to just add a little bit of format to my spread. I'm just gonna stick with the black, white and green stuff because I think they match the purple and green in this kit pretty well pretty closely so let's get started this month I'm using just the plain white kiss planner from pink punch studios so um, I get a little bit more versatility with my spreads in color but I'm making myself use the horizontal inserts kits also from pink punch studio on every spread in my main planner um, except the monthly i'm sticking with the planner monthly but um i so i've gone with the primary palette for tomorrow's daily i think that it will match the burke and bloom stickers really well and we'll use a cover from pink punch studios also so i'll link all four of these kits and the planner in the description so make sure you check that out if you're looking for them um i've got all my toggles turned on for my lasso so i'm going to grab this purple cover i've been doing a lot of purple spreads lately and you know purple isn't really one of my favorites i don't dislike it but it's usually not my go-to seems i've been doing a lot of it though so now let's go back and I'm going to grab the fill paper from this kit. These cover kits are amazing. Uh, Pink Punch Studio has them in, in all the palettes. You can see there's in the fill paper muted. I don't have all the fill papers, I don't think. Um, but you can see it's so handy having all the covers. I have built this sticker book. They came as individual PNGs and I've put them all together here. So anyway. Let's grab this fill paper and we'll put it down. I always like to make everything straight, centered, big when I'm building my pages and then I can always adjust after. So I always build my planner first and then we'll decorate the desktop. Sometimes when I paste my images in, they feel a little crooked so I'll do like a a bit of a rock on them. I don't know why GoodNotes doesn't always paste everything locked in, um, but at that little rocking where you just select the image and just give it a little tilt kind of snaps it into place. Okay, so here's our planner that we're going to make the spread in. So I can close that one and I'm going to take the primary inserts. Now I only want the one half of the page. So we'll crop that off and then stretch this out. There we go. Okay. So let's set up this side first. I'm going to grab the Monday sticker and place that down. I'm 
know, I'm just looking for something that I can make the date with. The, the number, the number eight. Let me see, this might not work, but let's give it a try. So if I shrink this down. And then I'm gonna take my white pencil and just cover this up with white so I can put my date inside. It's kind of satisfying doing this. <laughs> Now, Burke and Bloom has put out a few fonts, so I'm going to use one of her fonts and keep it consistent. Um, I'm not sure if they're all available in her shop or not, or I think some of them came in time-sensitive holiday gifts packs and things like that. Um, I think there's more than these. I think there's another with some more Bloom or something. I wish there was a way I could sort these. Okay, let's stick with the BM, the ones that say BMB. I think we'll go with BMB forever. And I'll put an eight there. And then I also want to make a little TH. Oops, all lowercase. And I'm going to resize that small just so it fills this little box up a bit better. Now I have my image lasso turned off so that, oh, that's right. I also used handwriting. So I also need to this time turn off the handwriting toggle because of that white that we used to erase the word that was originally there. So I'm going to resize and it's just going to grab the text. And I can make that nice and big and fill in the circle. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to turn my toggles back on. I'm finished with the insert page. So now we get to decorate. So I've been using the daily inserts this whole month so far. So I've done it a few times. And I find that these are a bit more things than I need to track. So I've been covering up the to-do list and the today I feel with stickers. Um just to add some decoration. So I'm going to take this post-it note and I want to make it the size of this box. And this will balance out the black that I used in the sticker at the top of the page with the, that says Monday. And then I'm going to crop and I'm hoping I can make this work. I want to crop right to where the post-it note starts to lift up. You can see the shadow does its little thing in there. Oh, this is going to work pretty closely, I think. And I'm just going to fit that. So I still need, I have a little bit here that's causing problems. So I'm going to just crop this edge off just a smidge. You can see where the line's cutting in there. And now to make it fit, I need a little more off the top. Before I do any more cropping though, I'm going to deselect it. And that's going to lock in the crops that I've done so that if I undo my next crop, if I do too much, it's not going to take me back to the beginning. I have to start all over again. So let's crop, and I just want a smidge off from top to bottom. So when I stretch this so it fits side to side, hopefully it'll fit top to bottom. There we go. So we've covered up that box. 
and see it's sort of balancing out the black that's at the top of the page. The decor set that we're using has no black in it, so um, it just has darker shades of purple. So I wanna make sure that the black is sort of sprinkled throughout the page so that it doesn't look out of place. So now the sticker that I put down, it's sort of, it's a narrow rectangle. So I wanna find a quote that fits in that rectangle nicely. I think I'm going to take the green International Women's Day and fit that there. Okay, so now I have this one and we'll grab this post-it and I'm gonna do the same thing in this box. See, the greens aren't exact, so I'm a little unsure about using the green post-it. Yeah, I think that's not, yeah. I don't know if I can do it. It doesn't match enough. I can't do it. So we're going to stay away from the greens. Maybe for this one, I'll use, I'll see if the washi will let me enlarge it enough to use. Let's use this one. Sometimes when you enlarge stickers enough to be like that, they go kind of blurry. It all depends on the, I think it's called DPI or something like that. But it looks like this one's staying nice and crisp, so it's gonna work for us. So I'm gonna crop and we need to get rid of like a whole lot of this. So I'm just trying to make it fit from left to right. We'll go with that. So I'm deselecting it each time so that it remembers those changes. And if I hit undo, it doesn't undo what I'm happy with. Oh my goodness. I keep thinking I take too much and I'm not even close yet. So when I'm doing this too, I like to keep in mind what parts of the image I'm leaving behind um, to keep sort of the interesting stuff, like the little pluses from the, women, the women's symbol. getting close now. So I just need the tiniest, I don't know if you can see, just the tiniest little bit there. <laughs> Still not enough. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. You're watching me spend a ton of time adjusting this little tiny box. I'm sure I'm not alone though in trying to make everything exactly precise. I think we got it. Here we go. Perfection. We did it. Okay. So now I need a sticker to put in there that sort of fits that shape of the box. There we go. Okay. So now on this side, I put my wins and gratitude. Um, I'm going to grab this washi. And I'm just gonna line it up. Bear with me. This shouldn't take quite as long. I'm 
I don't want it right to the edge of the page, but close. There we go. That looks good to me. So let's go back to our bloom set. Hmm. I wish the green was just a bit more green, but I don't feel like editing anything today. So maybe we can use like the top of this. I'm just going to go to the next blank page. We're going to do some building. So I've just cropped the corner off of this flower to cover up the other flower. So I want to do just enough that it covers the flower but still leaves me room to, to write. Still got a bit there. Here we go. And now that matches. should have brought these over and resized them at the same time it would have been a bit easier but I wasn't sure how well it would work and if I would do both since it worked so well I'm just trying to resize this black post-it note to the same size as that one now let's see what we can use to cover up this flower so we've already used this one we could do this sticker. So it's the same, but ever so slightly different. So right off the bat, I'm going to crop the words because we don't want words and we don't need most of this. I'm not loving this one as much because see the white, how big the white outline is. I have to enlarge it too much. I think I might just stick with that seam. The seam flower we used on this side, we're just going to be using the other side of it. Because otherwise the white outline is going to be so significantly different. So when I crop it, I'm going to crop pretty much at this green and like where this leaf starts and halfway. You can see if you imagine the line right at the point of that. I think I just made my iPad crooked. There we go. Okay. So let's crop that. Oops. Crop. So we're going to bring that to about there that to about there. Let's see. All right. I think those will work for us. I guess while we're on this page, let's use that Burke and Bloom font again. We'll go 
wins. Gratitude. And now let's make them white. And we'll just resize it enough to fit in that top corner. Beautiful. I love this. Okay, so let's turn all of the toggles back on. And I'm going to select everything and do a cut. And now we'll bring it over here. So it's not going to let me lasso this image, so I'm just going to move it over. I don't want to resize anything, and then we'll just line it back up again. It won't take too long. Now, I did this on purpose with um, this image on top of the post-it so that it's the black square on top of the flowers, and this flower is on its own not overlapped with the washi. So if you zoom in, it's a little bit easier to line up. I'm going to turn my images off again. Grab my little word here. Okay. So I've got about that much room from the top so I want to just shift this up and again I'm gonna to have to do it one piece at a time because of the layering I can't lasso but since there's only a few pieces it's not hard to line them up all right oh I love how this is coming together yay So, on here, stickers that I like is the Women Supporting Women and the Together We Bloom. So I'm trying to think where maybe I can fit those in. <laughs> I don't even know. You know what, I'm going to be a pain in the butt. I'm going to do whole bunch of undos until it pastes back down here and we're gonna do a do over here so let's resize move things around to how I think it's roughly gonna be now let's try again so I'm gonna cut paste I want to leave enough room at the bottom this time for one of those stickers that I like. There we go. That'll work. I think we'll go with Together We Bloom down here. Look at that. This is so pretty. I like this one because it's a good fit top to bottom. It's more tall than wide. I'm going to do a little overlap. Oops, I keep grabbing the wrong page. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put it here. There we go. I really love that. That looks so good. Just 
trying to think what else I might want to tuck in here. I think that's good. I think I'm going to start working on the desktop. So since I'm using these inserts, I've been keeping my planners straight because it's hard to get your text on and tilt it so it actually fits the lines when you add a tilt to your planner. However, I want a bit more room to decorate my desktop. So I'm gonna just shrink this down a smidge and bring it to the bottom of the page and kind of eyeball it to center it. So what I'm doing is seeing that this side and this side have roughly the same amount of white space. So now I have some room across the top here that I can decorate. I'm not sure that I'm going to use any more stickers from here. I think I've got all the ones that I love. I'm kind of thinking though I might Let's see if it'll let me make it big enough. See how that's coming in crooked? If you tilt it, see the tilting brought it totally straight. or more straight anyway, the dots aren't straight. Okay. Is there anything else I want from here? I don't think so, I think we're good. So I'm going to use some pink punch decor. So I'm thinking these purple flowers might be pretty. I'm not sure if the purple's going to work though. I think it's it's the right kind of flower, but it's the wrong kind of purple. Oh, but it kind of brings the ties in the red and orange on these boxes. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I like how it kind of ties in that red and orange to the rest of the spread. I think that looks really good. Yay! Okay. I like it when things work out. Oh, actually, let's take a look at the lamps. Have I got? I don't often buy the lamps. I've got a few neutral ones. I use the white and the black kind of glass style the most. They're gorgeous. That's the jewel tone hollow. If I had primary hollow, I'd probably use it. Okay, let's go with the white. I'm just going to have it peeking on the corner here. Now, need a bit more decor. Let's get some desk stuff, actually. So we're looking for kind of primary purple and green. I don't know if that's really going to work for me. Let's see. So it kind of matches the green in that. Yeah, we'll do that. I think I'm going to move it over to this side though. Now the lamp kind of has a glow, and since I put it down first, the pencil's not in the glow that the, of the lamp like it should be. See, so I've selected the lamp now and it's on top. You can see how the pencil looks different. So, I'm just going to grab the lamp, cut, paste, we'll layer it back down. 
and then its shadow will be on top of the pencil. I want to move the lamp. <laughs> I'm going to tuck it further in the corner. There we go. Okay. I think that's all I want from there. I think I use my diamond pens more than anything else. They're so pretty. I'm gonna have to relayer that lamp again. <laughs> okay, mental note for next time. Do the lamp last. Usually I remember that, but I did not today. All right, so we've got a pen and a pencil. I feel like my pencil's too big. Let's shrink it down a little. Okay. What can we sprinkle along the left side? Oh, this could be fun. I never use these little watches because I don't have one of my own. Jewel tone's not quite the right color to match everything else. That's okay. That's all I got. All right. There's these little frames too. Let's grab the little green frame. Actually, wait, I should do that after. I'm gonna go back to that Burke and Bloom set. Oh, that reminds me. What do you guys use GoodNotes for other than digital planning? Like, do you use it for anything? Because I do constantly, nonstop. This is a knitting pattern. I opened it up in GoodNotes and I make all my little notes on it with the pencil. So much easier than printing it and carrying around a piece of paper because I always have my iPad near me. So anyway, totally off topic, random thread there, but GoodNotes can be good for so much more than just digital planning. All right, back on task. Burke and Bloom. I don't want to search through a million stickers. So if I sort by date, it's going to put the things I used most recently at the top. But I need to go back and put it back to name. Otherwise, I'm never going to be able to find anything. So let's take one of these stickers. It should probably be one with a white outline so it stands out but I've already used this one maybe we'll go with women rock because it's sort of pastel I don't use the watches very often so I'm kind of proud of myself to be pulling it out here so I'm just gonna line this up nice and center now I'm gonna grab that frame and put it on top. See, it adds some shading. So that's why I wanted to do it on top, just in case it affected the sticker. Now I probably should have kept this all straight and tilted it after. It would be a lot easier to line it up. That's okay. Look at that. This pencil looks terrible now. I gotta lose the pencil. That's what's so much fun about digital planning, is you can add and remove things. So easy, it's not like, hi everyone, sorry about that, I got cut off and I didn't even realize it till I finished filming, but I, I got a phone call came and it turned my camera off, who knew? What a pain in the butt. Anywho, I was just at the point where I was ditching this green pencil because I don't like it, so I undid until I got my pencil back and we'll start over. So I'm not sure, I can't remember already how far I got in the video, but I decided that these pretty purple stars would look fantastic instead of the green pencil. I got a writing utensil up there. Utensil? Implement? Whatever. So let's 
finish back up. So that's where I finished on the first time round that I did this video <laughs> before my rude telephone call interrupted me. Who phones anybody anymore? Um, anywho, so there is the finished spread. I will be sure to include the main kits that I used in the description to this video. So check them out. Um, make sure to grab the International Women's Day freebie from Burke and Bloom. It is gorgeous and so kind of her to share it with us. So check the description, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And a little bit of an announcement. Starting tomorrow, here, let me go to my pictures. There we go. Starting tomorrow, Jenna from Lenny Digitals is going to be doing a daily plan with me with me. We're going to have a little challenge. Um, nothing special, like she's going to plan her way, I'm going to plan my way, we're going to share the videos, share the spreads, so you can watch how two different people do their extreme planning challenge. Um, what is extreme planning? It is a monthly calendar that Jenna gives us each month, and the extreme part of it is that you share, you make and share a spread every single day. This month I've been using predominantly, or I guess all, Lenny Digital stickers for mine. Um, I use a meme that she shares on Pinterest. We'll go into more detail tomorrow and that's the inspiration for the day's spread. So it's really just decorating and I'm having so much fun with it. So you can have fun with me doing that all week long. There will be a daily video as well as all my usual videos. So make sure to check out those plan with me's from my for myself and Jenna all week long. I'll be back on Thursday with the Pink Punch Studio new releases and I'm not totally sure yet what we're gonna do next Sunday. So it's gonna be a busy week and you'll get to hear a lot from me if you choose to watch. So I hope you do and have a great week. Happy International Women's Day tomorrow everyone. Bye!